Recorded live with little or no editing, it's Defense Up. I'm Run 7. How you doing? Today, we're going to be doing my good friend's defense, Rich on Ships. Rich on Ships, he is a great guy. He is pictured here in front of you. Uh, his alliance mates were having some fun with filters, and uh, so I thought I'd share that with you. He's a great guy. Send me over his defensive picks, and if you want to be made fun of on Defense Up, you too can send your picks over. We had some people in chat and in voice helping me go over these. So remember, if you have a problem with any of the stuff I advise on these Defense Up videos, then find Benny Westside, Juicy, or ZKG, and you can harass them about it because they were on voice giving me advice on this stuff. No, we have a good chat about it. It is wacky workout Wednesday that's why I'm done up like this also <clears throat> first team is the infinity watch we're getting bored of this everybody's using it because it works well it's just an efficiency suck um, I do like that Phyla Vell is built bigger on this team she's kind of a hot target a lot of people like to go after Phyla Vell first so she's built a little bit bigger I don't know if it's gonna make a difference but uh, it's good I like it I'll give it an A and I'm gonna move on over here is the unlimited team we talked at length about this First things first, I think it's probably time you just start taking Unlimited off of defense and using it on offense. They beat all of the biggest teams. Not all. Most of the biggest teams. It's a really good offensive choice. You can pair it with a fifth of, uh, of your choosing for different situations and make it work in a, a lot of places, so it's very useful. And basically, we're finding that the walking hate counter beats Unlimited no matter what you do. In here, we have a bishop. I personally believe that this bishop is too small. Or, I'm sorry, is not small enough, actually. Is not small enough. Because you'll be able to clear the taunt off of this bishop without pushing him under, triggering the taunt on rogue. And you'll be able to land the stun on gambit and then just roll over the team with the walking hate counter, and it's not going to be that challenging. Benny and Juicy think that the bishop is the right size they're not too worried about it it's arguable personally i think the best thing to do if you really want to use the unlimited team on defense is to use a small phoenix the small phoenix seems to be the best choice because if they don't kill the phoenix she does a cleanse stealth thing of the team and if they do kill the phoenix then it puts the taunt over rogue's head and makes it challenging to stun the bishop so i like that one i like that phoenix next to gambit for reasons we've explained it in previous videos those are some choices that you could do another thing that we talked about a lot was which of the unlimited you replace with a fifth should it be phantom x should it be starfire should it be uh dazzler <clears throat> i really like dazzler's uh cleanse she does an ability block but against the standard counter that walking hate that everybody's using and works on every variant it doesn't really matter because it's either going to hit somebody that dies and revives and gets it cleansed. It's going to be cleansed off of Kestrel or it's going to land on Dormammu who has immunity and, and it's not going to matter. And the important thing, though, is that she cleanses her team of negative effects. And that's a thing that you have to work around. And it's a stumbling point for people who don't know how to use that walking hate count counter correctly. So I think Dazzler should stay. Then it comes down to Fire Chicken or Phantom X. Now, we watched a video of Valley Flying today. He's a great streamer. If you don't know, go check him out. Uh, he had his apocalypse get deleted from full health to dead by a Phantom X. Now, it was a big one. And so, Phantom X doesn't normally have enough damage, but sometimes can show off. I think what you should do is look at where the stars are at. If you have a lot of reds, a lot of power into your fire chicken, go with him. If it's on Phantom X, go with him. Phantom X gives evades. That's a thing you have to work around with the whole Gambit situation. And Fire Chicken has the speed up, the offense up, a lot of damage that he puts out. So that's a thing you have to work around. So it's really dealer's choice who you have the power to replace. If you don't like those choices, you can replace both of them and just go with a hulked out unlimited team. I hear a lot of people in Masters are starting to do that as well. For me, I'm going to go with an A- minus on this team. I'm not sure that the Bishop is the best way to go. I'd like to see a tweak there. Maybe just take this team to offense instead. <clears throat> Team number three is the Gamma team. Now, what we're doing is that new warrior counter is destroying this team. You can make it a little bit tougher by switching She-Hulk and Hulk's placement. 
and that way uh, She-Hulk is to the outside and makes it a little bit trickier to target her with that new warrior team and control her. That kind of helps. A lot of people like Red Hulk in the middle of this team for, uh, I think it's a Firestar. The other fire person in the game, there's too many of them. That are fi- That's why I call them Fire Chicken because I can't remember what their names are anymore. I just don't even care. Anyway, let's do a placement swap. Also, I prefer Red Hulk as a raider. Striker works, but I do think he should be a raider myself. You've got three strikers and two people putting out vulnerables, so wouldn't really kill you to make him a raider, but uh, again, that's kind of up to you. So I'm going to go with a B-plus on this team. We're hearing that the placement change is pretty effective. Maybe not in, in surviving the match, but making it a lot more turns and come out a lot sloppier finish. So th- there's that. Team number four is Wakanda. It's we, We're skipping it. All right, team number five is the Darkhold with Quicksilver. This is a becoming a pretty standard team. I see this a lot. I'm using it. It works really well. I like the placement. I like the ISOs. It's good. We're just going to give this an A and move on. If you don't like Quicksilver with your Darkhold, you can put Quicksilver with your uh, Rebirth team. The bigger your Rebirth team is, the better they are. I mean, that sounds kind of stupid, but like it scales. Like they get multiplicatively better as they get bigger. At 1.2 million, uh, Death Seed just kind of stops working against them regardless. So uh, I would say build this team bigger. You got to build them for raids anyway, so go ahead and build this team big. Uh, Quicksilver works really well if he's big enough. I'm finding smaller Quicksilvers and I just completely ignore him. So if you have a big Quicksilver, you could put him here. A lot of people are trying this uh, Widow in the team. The idea being that she is going to speed up Captain America because he's wave one. And there's a chance to speed up the others on her opening turn. However, everybody's saying it's not really doing anything. It's not really changing the outcome. It's pretty meh. So my advice is if you don't want to use Quicksilver, go with Zemo or Green Hulk. I've been using Green Hulk, although recently it hasn't gotten me any DVs. It used to. And then, of course, Zemo speeding up the other Hydra member, that Winter Soldier. And if you have a big Winter Soldier, Zemo's your choice because you want that Winter Soldier to go soon and snap off and delete an opponent. It can make your match go sideways. So I kind of like Zemo. Just don't use U.S. Agent. You've got so many other choices. U.S. Agent does nothing in this matchup, so just don't even worry about it. He has an ability block, but that's a turn two, and he usually dies from splash damage. I just don't like U.S. Soldier in here, or U.S. Agent in here at all. <clears throat> so, for me, this is like a B plus, I guess. Uh, we tried Widow. She's not detrimental, but she's really not changing the matchup. It's more of RNG of who gets sped up. If it's Peggy, maybe she gets to that cleanse before you can get control of her. Who knows? Uh, Not really a big deal, but I would like to see somebody other than Widow in here. It doesn't seem like it's doing a whole lot of good. So thank you, uh, Rich on Ships. It was uh, really lovely to see his face on screen today. Uh, If you want to, be sure to follow Rich on Ships. I'll put his Twitch information in the links below so you can go watch his streams. He's a really good guy, Uh, uh, really helpful to the community, a very friendly person. So thank you, Rich on Ships. Remember, don't just have a good game, be good to yourselves and others too, and I'll see you next time. Bye.